So we're marooned on a tiny Scottish island here in the Outer Hebrides. We were going to take a ferry this morning back to the Scottish mainland to spend some time in, I think, the biggest Scottish forest. But it has been so incredibly stormy that the ferry was cancelled. And the ferry for tomorrow has also been cancelled. So yeah, we'll have to see because I looked at the weather forecast and the wind over the weekend is supposed to be even stronger. So if we don't make it to the mainland by then, I think we'll probably be stuck here for quite a while. What your trousers on? Yeah. Okay. Ready? A flock of swans seeking shelter from the storm had settled on this newly emerged lake. Just imagine what it would feel like to have to fly through this wild weather. They're not the type of swans that you find in British parks. They are whooping swans that spend the summer in Iceland and Scandinavia and come to Britain to escape the harsh winter. The swans' white feathers seem to glow in the strange world of muted colours and a curtain of rain and blue mist. There was something so magical and surreal about the scene, appearing where, just yesterday, there were only grassy dunes. If it wasn't for the raindrops painfully colliding with my face, I might have thought that I was dreaming. Being outdoors in the storm really made me realise that bad weather is simply situational. It would be horrible to get caught in this if you're a local farmer or a fisherman at work, but being able to choose to fully immerse ourselves in the storm made it feel really exciting and exhilarating and pretty overwhelming in the best way possible. Feeling the violent force of the elements somehow made me feel small and at peace and wild and fierce all at the same time. It also helped to know that we could warm up in the cozy little house afterwards.
The next day the island felt like an entirely different place. We fell asleep with the wind howling and the rain drumming against the windows and woke up to peace and stillness and blue skies. But the storm had left behind remnants and reminders of the day before. Streams of rainwater draining through the sand dunes, down the beach and back to the sea. Countless little fragments of the underwater world had washed up on the beaches. Shells and seaweed and jellyfish. As darkness fell, it was time for us to get ready for a very early start the next morning. In the calm after the storm, the ferry had been able to reach the island and was ready to take us on the five and a half hour crossing back to the Scottish mainland. I really hope you enjoyed this video and as always I will see you next time.